How you doing? Today, I want to read from you a little bit from this wonderful book that I was sent by a marvellous chap called Ray. Um, so, firstly, thanks, Ray. Um, really appreciate it. It's a really fascinating insight into a, a very important period in the development of boxing. The book's called The Sporting Queensbury, and it's written by the 10th Marquess of Queensbury, and it's effectively the story of the gentleman he refers to as Old Q. So the Marquess of Queensbury, for whom the rule set is named. And I've, I've not read the whole thing yet, but... I've read enough of it to get a flavour of the book. Once I've read the whole thing, I'll tell you all about it. But, um, but for now, what I want to do is just read a little bit for you, because I think it's one of the most ironic things I've, I've ever come across in a book like this. Um, I won't spoil it for you, though, so I'll read it to you now. And then we'll have a bit of a chat and, and, and see what you think. This is... Uh, the 10th Marquess of Queensbury's writing on Old Q's opinion of Fig and Broughton. For one thing, if only one, I have a warm place in my heart for Fig. Unlike many of his, his successors, he scorned sparing his pupils, however grand their station. There wasn't money enough in all England to persuade him to carry an opponent. He was champion first, instructor second. As he asked no quarter, he gave none. To take punishment, he maintained, was the first essential of a boxer. Broughton, on the other hand, imparted class to boxing. As a teacher of the noble art, he was careful to put mufflers on his hired pugs to see that they were easy with the pupils. Like Fig, whose pupil he was, Broughton was a bit before old Q's time. It's certain old Q would have been contemptuous of Broughton's namby-pamby methods if they'd come under his notice. I can fairly hear him snort in disgust, as this advertisement in the Daily Advertiser of February 1747 falls under his eyes. Mr Broughton proposes, with proper assistance, to open an academy at his house in the Haymarket for the instruction of those who are willing to be initiated in the mystery of boxing, where the whole theory of that truly British art, with all the various stops, blows, cross buttocks, etc., incident to the combatants will be fully taught and explained, and that persons of quality and distinction may not be debarred from entering into a course of lectures. They will be given with the most utmost tenderness in regard to the delicacy of the frame and constitution of the pupil for which mufflers are provided that will effectually secure them from the inconveniency of black eyes, broken jaws and bloody noses. Now, other than the fact that that's one of the longest sentences I've ever had to read, um, it's quite interesting. We'll come back to that in a second. No, old Q would have stood for none of that sort of molly coddling. All the same, Broughton's assiduous labours to impart refinement to the noble art began to bear fruit even before the birth of Old Q. I don't know about you, but firstly, I'm, I, I love that, that advert. I think that, that, that's marketing at its best. But the fact that the Marquess of Queensbury, the 10th Marquess of Queensbury who wrote this book, seems to think that the man whose rule set made the use of gloves in competition compulsory would look down on the man who first introduced gloves to sparring within boxing just seems a little ironic to me. I... Now, I, I know that there's a family connection there and there's a bit of this this sort of historical snobbery going on that clearly what happened before isn't as good as what we do now. And also there's, you know, there's this familial uh, pride that the author's ancestor must have been a fantastic man. But it just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Firstly, that advert is clearly an advert. It's clearly written in such a way as to appeal to a certain type of person. Is that namby-pamby? No, I don't think it is. I think that it's a really clever way for Broughton to try and improve the 
quality of his pupils. Um, I suspect that it was done in the sure knowledge that that would be, firstly, a way to secure more patrons, and secondly, a way to increase the income that Broughton could make from teaching the skills of boxing. Uh, and I think with those in mind, it's incredibly clever. But, you know, that aside, the idea that whilst training, you might use something to protect your hands, the fact that they're considering that a bad thing, really? So, yes, it's a fantastic book, but... I think it gives a real snapshot into into a certain type of arrogance that comes from some of the older families that we have in in the country. Um, And I wonder if perhaps the fact that Broughton was low-born plays somewhat into into this. Uh, But anyway, that being said, it's a great book. I love it very much. I'm deeply grateful Um, It's getting to the point now where my collection has outgrown the shelf that it's on. And that's an absolutely delightful problem to have. Um, I found a photo. I was clearing out an old um, hard drive off an old laptop that's been dead for a while. Uh, And in it, there was a picture, a photo I'd taken of um, my collection of boxing books from some years ago. And I think there were three or four books there. And I, You know, when you, you find a picture of one of your kids when they were really young and you haven't seen it for a while and you just look back and go, oh, they were so cute. That's pretty much how I felt. So, um, you know, I, I, that sounds like I'm boasting. Um, and, and I guess I am. Um, I, I, I love my books and I hope that being able to share them with you to some degree or not in this channel is something that you enjoy. Uh, Anyway, I'll shut up now because because I'm, I'm wittering on. We're not far off 10k subscribers. We're getting there. Um, I'm going to clear a bit of space on my, my bookshelf by by giving one of them away. Check out the earlier video to to find out about that. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, it'd be great if you want to subscribe. That'd be lovely. Um, please like the video if you feel like it. And. Um, yeah, maybe stick something in the comments. I try very hard to respond to all the comments, so it would be lovely if you were to put something there. And um, I'll end by saying a special thank you to my patrons. You can support my channel on, on Patreon if you if you want to. That would be lovely. And um, I'll see you soon. Take care.